Hey guys, Taylor here with another tutorial for you guys, and today we're going to be making this image right here. Really cool effect, turns out really great. Let's get started. First thing you're going to want to do is download an image off of stock photo website, sxc.hu, the stock photo exchange pretty much, and just find a forest picture for example you see like this one has a lot of green to it may not turn out that great anyway what you're looking for is something that you can blur to the point where it has good colors in it but you can't see any detail which basically just look for a lot of colors that one will be okay it's got a few light spots and it would look pretty good that one will be great actually anyway I've already chosen mine so I'm just going to pop mine open here. And you're going to download the image, obviously. You guys know how to do that. And then open it in Photoshop. Now that you've got it in Photoshop, what you're going to do is uh, Command J, duplicate the layer, V, delete the background layer, and create a new layer on top. Just standard what I do. And then to create that blur effect that blurs out all the colors, we're going to go to Filter, Blur. Gaussian blur Bring it up here and go really high on it 50 to 100 pixels usually I think this one's going to end up having to go into the 80s 98 wow that's what mine ended up with pretty much just blur out to where you can't see any particular detail that tree trunk is what I'm looking at and it's pretty you can still see it, but the viewer probably won't see it. Anyway, with that finish, you're going to go to your new layer, and this is where we're going to start creating our bubbles. You're going to uh, hold down shift, and it'll keep your bubble proportional and standard, because if not, it'll get all funky, you know? And the neat trick you can do is if you hold down space while you have your left mouse and your shift key held down, you can move that around. And then when you let go, you can still resize it. So that's a neat little trick. I use it all the time. Anyway, you're going to keep your bubble just arbitrary size. That looks good. Then you're going to press B to get to your brush key. Press default and then X just to make sure you get your colors straight. And default set your colors black, white, black foreground, white background. X switches that. And what you're going to do is get a soft brush, just any size. We're going to increase it a lot. You're probably going to want to run it for most of the bubbles you're going to make, probably three to 600, somewhere in that range. And then we're just going to brush, and you'll notice that the selection tool only lets us select. Oh, sorry, guys. The opacity was still decreased. And you'll notice that our brush tool is only brushing in our selection which for you advanced users you already know that but some people may not and when I press command D we have a bubble and I did that by just going around the outside and not actually putting it on there because obviously it does that unless you wanted it to I mean that could be a highlight but we don't want that you could Mine, that one that I showed you, has light source in the, in account. Like, let's say there's a light below it. Well, you'd want to go pretty heavy on the bottom end, like so. So that way, it looks like there's a light under it. Anyway, just go around the outside barely, because your brush reaches farther than that circle, as you can see. And just go around the outside and just lightly brush the outside of it to get that effect that you see there. And then what we're going to do is basically just do that a bunch of times. And you're going to have to decrease your brush as your bubble size gets smaller. But you'll find that your smaller bubbles are really, really, they look a lot more defined, as you can see. And once again, you, you should probably be taking into account your light source. I'm not though, just tutorial link's sake. 
and then just create a few like so. I'm doing this really fast, guys. You're gonna take a whole lot more time on this, but I'm bound by YouTube's 10 minute length. Anyway, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your press F twice, or I do, to get to this. And then you're gonna minimize it twice, because if you don't, you'll see that you get the, that aliasing around the bubbles. And at 50, 100%, or any division of those, even division, 100, 50, 25, and so on, either way, you get the anti-aliasing works. Anywhere in between, though, and it doesn't quite, it looks good, but you still have that anti-aliasing, and so you want to keep it generally in 25, 100. Anyway, I'm going to zoom mine out to 12.5, which is still a division of it, so you, your anti-aliasing works, and you're going to get your selection tool, and using that space trick that I showed you guys, we're going to put one right there. And this is going to be a really a bubble that's really close to the camera and right bracket to increase our brush size and you're just gonna brush around the outside just like you would any other bubble and as you can see it just looks like a huge bubble <laughs> of course now you're gonna make a new layer we're gonna put bubbles behind that bubble now <laughs> right now just do what like, treat these like you would any other bubble around the outside of them. We'll make a few. While I'm doing this guys, don't forget to uh, check out my blog. I've got another tutorial for you guys on there written out. For those people that may not want to hear my voice that much. <laughs> and we'll make one more guys. Make this one really up. That one's actually not an even one. I'm going to keep them even because bubbles are, oddly enough, perfect most of the time. This is going to be a really sharp one. My brush is somewhat small for it. As you can see, that one is accounted for light source, even though none of the other ones are. <laughs> anyway, since those are on their own layer, we can just go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and not blur them massively but blur them just enough to where it appears as if they're behind something as if, as if you're looking through a bubble which is what you're doing obviously and there you go guys that's pretty much it you can obviously go nuts with it and yours is going to turn out a lot better than mine because it just will because you take a lot more time on it than I did because this is just a tutorial and anyway, guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out my blog at taylormdaltry.wordpress.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a link on the right, I believe. Don't forget to click that and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.